Hey, welcome to the club. Some of you may remember last week we unboxed this beauty and I said we'd go over how to use it. Now, I meant to do it all as one video, but it, there's a lot to this. There's so much to go over with this. So we're going to start with the other seahorse. This is the Luca Seahorse Pro. This is their smaller version. They have a much larger version of both of, than both of these. This comes with the ceramic tip, a simple little cover, and you can attach a cartridge to this. I don't recommend it. Um, it's just not worth it. Uh, it gets a lot stickier. It's a lot harder to deal with. So what I recommend doing is just dabbing with it. And the way to dab with one of these, and uh, same with this, the controls are identical. You have three settings. This one's not on. All right. So you have three settings. This one's on blue and I can change that to purple or white. White is your hottest. Purple is your mid. Blue is your coolest. Uh, if you're a fan of tasting your terpenes, as a lot of people like to say, you'll stick with blue. Um, on this one, I tend to go purple, uh, but what you do is you give it three quick clicks and you noticed it lighting up, flickering for a minute before lighting up solid. That's uh, when it's heating up and once it's solid like this, then you can take your dab. I'm going to wait for it cycle to go. This lasts about 30 seconds and I'll take my dab after this so that I can do a full on to the camera beautiful shot for you all because last week we did none of that <laughs> and it's nice and solid well no it's still flickering let's give it until it, yeah it's solid now and then all you do I don't know if that's visible to the camera, but it's just a slight touch in the center there. These three little pips <coughs> are what you just gently tug ever so slightly, like so. You don't want to jam it in. You just want to gently touch it too. If you want, you could lay out a line with your dab spoon. Um, I don't like to it's more messy it's more work this is fine if you don't have this for whatever reason or if you're i don't know what your situation is where you'd want to do that instead but you can you would just scoop it out and you know, stick it onto your dab mat roll it out thin that's it um that's it for the pro the pro is over uh you can if can you give me that hose i don't know why i didn't grab that you can uh, attach the hose like so straight on. This is an aftermarket hose. Uh, the one that comes with it is shorter and green. I ordered this one myself. Um, but you can attach your hose and you know connect that to the water pipe of your choice or whatever your device is. Um, and then for this, you could easily do exactly the same. I don't think I really need to show you the same thing over again. But um, I do want to say, first of all, that I prefer using this even without water added over the other piece because uh, it gathered a lot of like distillate and it would clog up the only intake hole it had. 
every three hits. So it's not something I particularly wanted to use and have to clean every time I was in the middle of a session. So I switched over to this and even without water added, I like that. Uh, the reason I don't have water added is because it's very easy to blow into this and cause the water to flow into your device when you're not sober. And I don't want to do that. So I just, for now, am using it without water. Uh, I might have a little uh, something, something planned for that. Uh, you can also add your hose on here. It sticks just fine. Uh, pops off. And as I discovered, getting ready for the shot, because I've been using this for, you know, a day or so now. Uh, this just slides right on here, too. According to the photo, there you go, yeah, you just give it a nice little firm push and it'll slide right on, no problem. Um, speaking of the hose, if you want to look online and get yourself one, I did the measurement of the inside diameter with some calipers and got, I think it was six millimeters, something to that effect. Uh, check yours or you know what I'll put it at the bottom of the screen right now whatever it says right here that's the inside diameter uh, and you can find all kinds of colors for whatever you want um, so I'm going to change the tip out uh, for the ceramic tip which I said last week I'd not use much of but all right so we took a quick break because I realized I wasn't prepared. You want to have some nice gloves like these or some uh, rubber gloves in general when, whenever changing tips or cleaning it. And we're going to do cleaning of both devices a little bit later. Um, but for now, you want to heat up your device and get it all the way hot. And I do this on the white setting. You're just going to let it heat up heat 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 and then when it's done with its cycle we'll just use this to grab the piece and turn it off the reason you heat it up every time to be sure be sure you heat it up is because if you don't the distillates and oils that you've been dabbing will create a glue that can damage your parts so you want to let it do its full hottest cycle before you try removing anything um, and if you're using the Pro, make sure you only use a quartz tip with it. It cannot, it's not compatible with the other tips at all. Uh, we got curious and tested that. So, you just want to take out the whole piece first. And then separate the bigger piece from the quartz, or the you know, quartz I'm saying quartz a lot because I believe it's quartz. I don't know that, so check the box. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, comes right off, as you can see here. And then we'll just set this on our pad. And yeah, it's gonna need cleaning, that's good. We'll get a good shot of that. But we can do this first. This is the ceramic tip. Now, I'm not a huge fan of this one. I don't know if I'm just doing it wrong or if it's just a different functionality of it. You know, you do you use one for what I'm, I'm fairly, like I said, I've never used one before, so I don't fully understand it, but not a fan of what I've seen so far. Um, I mean, you saw the cloud I was able to produce with the pro. So let's see what I can get with this. Now, one of the fun things about this is you can see if you're doing well, this will fill with a nice cloud of cha or a chamber of cloud. And if you're not doing well, you know, if you don't see this fill up when you're drawing, something's wrong. So I'm going to set this to blue. And uh, you guys out there watching, just give me a thumbs up when it stops flashing. Thank you. <laughs> you're all very helpful. I'm, except for you, you who didn't give a thumbs up, you're an asshole.
And now you can see here, that creates more of a puddling effect. And it's actually drippy now. I think you can just barely see it trying to drip out of its own bowl there. That's how much hotter this gets. And that was on the low setting. Not for me. Sorry. Um, I prefer that one. <coughs> Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. And uh, really, this just leaves one other method that you can use with this. Now, I'm going to show you the simplest way to do this. And that is to take all of this off. And the reason you want to use gloves, this stuff is sticky. We're going to go over how to handle that, but it's sticky shit. All right, now this is your bucket. This is, I'm assuming another quartz bucket type thing. And it replaces the entirety of what we had in there a second ago. As you'll see. All of this now comes off to make room for that. And for just a second, we're going to put this on the stand. It has a base that you can use with this. I just forgot to bring it in. It's not that necessary. Oh, wait, here's my distillate. <laughs> Thought I had to open my distillate. Um, a doof. So here's how we get a scoop of distillate. I just take a, I don't want too, too much here. So I'm just going to take a small, small scoop. It's easy to take too much out. It's easy to take way too much out. We're just going to try to do this to camera y'all, but it's not as easy as it seems like it ought to be because you can't see what you're doing. Actually, I'm going to heat this up so that it'll melt it off of here instead of me having to scrape it in. You can always, as you can see, it's very thick. It's sticking on. So what you're going to want to do is you probably want to preheat this anyway. But you just stick it in and it'll just slide right in there for the most part. Sorry, y'all. This just had to be done away from camera. I tried. All right. Then you just put your piece over top, like so. Well, I did that wrong. Ew. I guess you have to put a bigger dab on there. So keep that in mind. I'm not gonna. Um, I prefer this. It's so much easier. For me, um, you'd have to put a pretty big dollop on there, I guess, because either that or I just didn't get any in it. I'm not sure which. And I don't particularly feel like putting so much in that I have it go off like that. I'm not going to use it. And I'm not going to use this feature. So keep that in mind. Uh, it might be great for a party. Uh, it's not great for a host of a... So, it's also very hot. Don't just go snatching up on it without protection. Because that mix sucked. Yeah, it did. All right, set that down. Now, we're going to clean it. And for that, I will need a very special tool. A very special tool indeed a very special set of tools and I forgot the most important one so I'll be right back with the most important tool you need for cleaning this device toothpicks I know I know sounds weird but hear me out for either seahorse, I have found that the toothpick fits so beautifully, especially the 
extra long l'élégance toothpicks from Diamond. Um, we'll start with the seahorse, uh, this, put it back in. And the reason I'm putting it back in is because we do what? We heat the bucket first before we separate the pieces. And the reason, again, is this is how sticky this shit is. That's why you wear these. Uh, there's a guy I found on YouTube a while ago that runs a shop um, that sells silicone gloves that look kind of like these oven mitts, but they don't have the liner. And they're green, but they're basically that. Um, if you want to seek something out like those, they're just silicone gloves. I get these at Harbor Freight. Um, and they're great. So you're going to let it heat up. Man, the microphone is sagging away. Whew, this audio is going to be a trip. Hey, let me know again when it's full and when it's completely stopped. Because we got to let it go a whole cycle now. Do, 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 do. Is it still going? There we go. And it just slips right off. And then we take off this piece as well. Now this is the part you ne now you never clean the insides. You never stick anything inside these or the quart or the ceramic one for that matter if I'm not mistaken. But for this one, this is just a special little hose piece here. We're going to take our toothpick and push it in from behind and look at that. Boy, I hope the camera's picking up this gorgeous dollop. Maybe if I do that. Oh, isn't she beautiful on there? Now, you get yourself a silicon jar that they sell at most dispensaries that sell uh, anything like this. If they sell dabs, they most likely sell accessories. Not all do. But you can get you one of those and just every time you do this scrape it in it'll be unless you use the same strain every single time you use it'll be a super hybrid but you're not wasting it you could also re-dab it if you wanted to it's not something i would necessarily do i'd just save it next step is to take a little out rubbing alcohol simple dollar tree rubbing alcohol and we're going to take a cotton swab. And honestly, these steps are exactly the same for the pro. Uh, you just have one extra thing there. But you treat it the way you, we will the bubbler. Um, you take your alcohol. You clean the threads. Okay. Where the buckets and everything screwed in and you clean out all of this it everything inside here you get it all and you get right on that threading get up in there and then we're going to turn that around and dry it out now ideally you would do this at a bathroom sink um with the hot water running as hot as it can go because this next part is best done with hot water. Uh, we'll, this comes with your seahorse. We're using the one that came with the X for this demonstration. And same little hole that you just screwed or cleaned around, we're going to shove it right down in there. And give it a twist, give it a twist, give it a scrape, and a twist. Always with the scraping and the twisting. Then we're going to go in from the back end. 
and scrape and twist and scrape and twist. The reason you want to do this with hot water running is now you want to run that under the hottest water you can to rinse it off. And you keep you if you think you're done rinsing, keep rinsing. It's sticky, sticky stuff. But as you saw with the edibles episode, when it look, gets hot, it's much more flowy. So that is the body of your seahorse clean. Um, next, we're going to clean the this. Now, I know I said don't clean the inside. Well, I didn't say anything about the outside. So we're going to take our alcohol. And this is just a pre-roll jar that we had. And I thought, well, shit, why not use that to store some alcohol at my sesh spot? Now you're going to clean the threads thoroughly. You're going to clean this base plate thoroughly. You want to get those threads as clean as you can. And again, this is just regular Dollar Tree alcohol. This is, you know, the cheapest stuff the store has. And then you want to clean the outside here and then clean the body. Now never ever clean this portion here. You can clean the metal body as much as you like and very carefully clean this white collar here. But do not clean this or the inside ever. We're just going to clean this and clean this. Okay. Now, cleaning this bubbler is a little difficult, I found. Um, so instead, you get your alcohol in the same way you do your water. So I'm going to show you how to do that with the Seahorse Pro glass piece instead. And to clean the Pro, again, you would take the tip off just like you would with the Seahorse X. You would heat it up, take it off, and then this is where you'd clean and you'd come in from behind. And So it's just this part. So for the bubbler, you would get your alcohol inside and then and I can't believe it's this easy because as a lazy dude, oh, the ease. And I'm not joking when I say it's this easy. And it's done. That's it. That, that's all you have to do. I should have had a catcher for this. Yeah. Let me just let this all out into the paper towel. Oh, if I, ever, if I had a dollar for every teenager who let all their frustration out into a paper towel. Now you could be sure that you got, now actually you can use that alcohol that you just poured into the paper towel. It's now clean the outside of your piece. And it's just rub it. Uh, alcohol is shockingly good at getting this shit off of stuff. If you want to be triple sure, you could take the dry end of one of your Q-tips and just scrub it out. And you really should. Just, you know, get it all the way. Get it all the way. But, you know, if you've got spots, do that. Otherwise, you're good. You do the same thing with your bubbler, shake it out. To get the alcohol back out, or to get any water in that is in it out, you simply blow in, and all of it will come spilling out the bottom. Um, but otherwise, that's the seahorse and how to clean it. Um, I hope you all had a great time. Uh, that's a great question, audience member. Uh, you should clean it every day honestly um how often do i clean it i clean it about every two or three days 
um, eventually you're going to have problems with it just building up like that bead that you saw come out will eventually clog the hole and you have to and you really ought to be doing it uh, at least clearing out that pathway once a day uh, that you just heat it up take the tip off toothpick you don't have to do the full scrub out uh, I recommend no longer than a week I've seen some nasty glass pieces clean your stuff folks it's it's not better for you to let that stuff build up at all clean your stuff and um, other than that that's it um, we'll have a friend on in the future who will bring some glass pieces so maybe we can take a look at some of the stuff this is meant to do uh, what I like to do with it though is attach it to the yeah and then I just pretend I'm the uh, caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland and you who are you I, I just use it as is without uh, the other piece on the end because it's too big to act um, but that's it. I have nothing else to say other than I hope you all have a great time and to remember, keep it easy.